All right, guys, it just came in. I'm pretty excited. This is the Blade 200QX. This is a quad. It's kind of like the baby brother of the Blade 350QX. Comes with safe technology, three flight modes, which its stock is flight modes are camera, stability mode, and agility mode. Brushless power, awesome lighting. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So in the box, we're going to get our setup. And it shows here set up for DX4E, DX5E, DX4E and 5E new, DX6I, and DX7 and 7SE. It is not showing any setup for the DX8, which I'm kind of disappointed about. I guess I'll have to find that online. Um, but I can use the DX6I until I can find the real DX8 settings. I'll be doing uh, videos on how to set it up with the DX6I, the DX8, and so on. So check for those in the next couple days. Here we have our instruction manual, some tools, a um, little cord here, which you know I'm not sure what it's for yet. Have to check everything out, read the manual, and then the quad. Oh, it's so cute! It's a little 350. Now let's see. It felt stuck. There we go. Pull that out. And its body is similar to the 350QX, but they say it's kind of see-through. It's kind of translucent. It's hard to see on camera. It just looks white. But it is slightly see-through, and they say that makes it awesome for night flying. The, the lights in there really shine through and make it really cool for night flying. On the bottom, we have a plug, which I believe is going to be for attaching a camera. There is a camera that they recommend for using. It's an E-Flight uh, model number. In here... Is where we're going to put our battery and it's going to be using a JST plug. You get about five to seven minute flight time and the battery is a two cell 800 milliamp uh, 20C. So it comes with your battery and you also get your two cell charger. Now I'll be probably just using my larger uh, dynamite charger but nice that it comes with the battery and the charger. This is the bind and fly model. Go ahead and close this back up. Take another quick look at the heli here. This basically looks exactly like a little 350, except the landing gear is just, uh, I guess these are rubbery. No, it's pretty much hard plastic, it feels like. And that's your landing gear, rather than having a uh, you know, big landing gear like the 350 has. Also in the box, oh, now hold on. I speak too soon, it looks like. It looks like we have landing gear. So you might uh, might be able to fly without that, or you might have to add that on. I'm going to add that on, I think. But it looks like you could fly with or without that, is what I'm thinking. But I'm going to add on the landing gear for sure. So you get the landing gear. The only problem is it looks like once you put on the landing gear, it won't fit back in the carry box. So that's kind of a pain if you want to you know, keep it nice in the carry box. Once you put on this landing gear, it's not going to fit in the carry box. Let me go ahead and just throw these back in there, and then we'll also go ahead and see what else we got. It looks like we also have, I'll get those in later, an AC power plug, which is great for the people that are using this charger. It's always nice to have the AC, rather than have to charge off a DC or those uh, alligator clips. And then in here, we just have four extra blades, one of each extra blade. And that is it. So, like I said, I'm going to be having to set this up on my transmitter, and then I'll go ahead and do a full review. Just wanted to show it, show how it comes in the box to begin with. And really cool, I'm really happy about it. It should be an amazing little flyer. So, stay tuned, we'll have some more videos soon. Set up videos and review videos soon. So, happy flying everyone. Have any questions about the heli, let me know. Quadcopter, and we'll see you all later.